Hey everyone, I'm Joe and today I'm talking about my SF Showcase for December 2015. There are two books I'm talking about today. The first is God's War by Cameron Hurley and the second is The Female Man by Joanna Voss. These, coincidentally, not planned, are both books which have female protagonists, female writers. So the first book is God's War by Cameron Hurley. This is the first book by Cameron Hurley that I've ever read. I've heard about her quite a lot in the last year or two and I finally got around to reading one of her books. This is the first in the Baldame Apocrypha trilogy. I will be reading the second and third books in the next few months. And this is a really quite interesting book with some interesting ideas. I did struggle with parts of it but I'll explain why in a second. The book focuses on a character called Nick Snissa who is a female assassin and headhunter. She gets paid to kill people and as a headhunter she literally chops their heads off and then carries them back to her employer and the person who's paying her to prove that they are indeed dead. There are quite a few different technologies in this world like uh, gene splicing and uh, organ transplants in a rather unusual manner. You, know, you can just have your organs removed and you can just sell them really quite casually almost as, as if you just going to a normal market. And it gives an odd feel but it does work in a really unusual manner. Nix gets a new job which is political in nature and indeed the person giving her it her uh, is politically related in some way. I'm not going to say what. And basically this job is a really big job and it starts going sideways because it has political connections which she couldn't foresee and frankly nobody could think of all these political connections and this makes her life hell frankly and indeed her team it makes it really difficult for everybody and things don't go well for her in some pretty nasty ways although obviously there's two more of them as well to finish off the plot I'm not going to say more about the plot anyway because of spoiler reasons the thing I was actually impressed by was the world building, the, the world that uh, Hurley has created is one that I haven't come across before but it's one that feels as though people could live in it. It's odd in some ways because it is a sort of half fantasy, half science fiction world where you've got sort of fantasy elements but then you've got some technology and some machinery and things. So, interesting mixture one that is fairly unusual and it does have a believable feel to it there is a form of magic in the book which revolves around bugs which sounds a bit odd but actually once you get reading into it it makes quite a lot of sense and one of the characters is indeed a magic user with some pretty odd abilities the feel of the world it's kind of the Crusades almost in the Middle East and that is the way the buildings are described, even the characters dress sense and it's a really nice and different type of image to have rather than the usual fantasy setting. The main flaw that I found and the reason that I actually gave it 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads which is still a good score is the level of violence directed towards the main character, uh, Nyx, felt weirdly excessive and also over the top and uneven compared to the other characters. Things happen to the other characters and indeed other characters do die and have horrible things really happen to them. I mean worse than death really in some ways. Nyx has things done to her which is really really bad and it's like it just feels uneven. Why does everything have to focus entirely on her so uh, much for it just I don't know it, it, this was something that really bugged me and frankly it was the main reason why I wouldn't have gave this book 4 out of 5 stars. I may do with the second and third books but we'll see. Now on to the second book which is The Female Man by Joanna Voss. This is the SF Masterworks edition. You know the Yellow Spines, as you know I've quite a few of them. This is an interesting book with some pretty interesting ideas. The plot revolves around four women who live in different worlds. It uses the multiverse theory or parallel worlds idea and 
these four women are essentially they're meant to be the same woman in the alternate worlds or timeline as it were and one of them discovers the ability to travel between these worlds and she basically gets together with the other versions of herself and yeah the plot goes now i'm not going to say too much because it's only a fairly short book and if i say too much i will give away some significant spoilers but it is quite interesting and really nice ideas due to the plot although frankly the plot is kind of secondary because it is relatively minor the main concern of the book is uh, feminism and gender equality or lack thereof this was written in the mid 70s so some of the views are not exactly outdated but they aren't entirely modern as it were and they apply in different ways now although still pretty much the same it's all to do with the societies that the women are from one of them is pretty much like ours was at the time one of them is far more even between male and female one is in almost entirely female and another is different i'm not gonna say anymore because it's a spoiler but yeah these worlds that the four characters in abby are drastically different and they're essentially sort of the extremes of what the world could be if things went either better or worse or stayed the same as it as the case may be now in this ross is trying to talk about how uneven our society is because of course there is even today lots of uh, jobs where th there can be a man and a woman doing essentially the exactly same job and in most cases the male will be getting paid considerably more unfortunate and i think that i don't agree but it is the way the world still is it is changing and indeed it's changed quite a lot since the book was written which was 1976 i believe but it's still uneven but it's improving and indeed that's what the book is talking about and indeed focuses on really heavily the one world is the more sort of advanced version of what we could be if we really tried and really thought about it now i'll talk about the two books together first of all god's war it approaches the world from an almost reverse point of view you know, a sort of gender swap where females do male roles males do female roles this can lead to some pretty weird instances and ones that i wasn't expecting they are quite interesting and they do make you think about your view on the world and indeed you know equality between the sexes the female man is more directly confrontational this is basically directly asking you what do you think about the various subjects in it and what could be changed and what does need to be changed to make this truly fair and indeed equal finally it's more blatant and in some places it can be a little bit almost uncomfortable the way it asks you in a really quite brutal manner but it's extremely effective and i actually enjoyed this oh and i gave female man 44 stars on goodreads i forgot about that god's war is more heavily plotted and indeed it's more of a traditional story with a more intricate plot more developed the world's more developed and the characters are more of a adventure the female man is more of a exploration tale about feminism and equality between gender and it's done in a very different way and indeed it's a very different book really from god's war it just so happens that i've read two books that are heavily female oriented very close together a week apart in fact i'd recommend both books it really depends on what you want to read about god's war is more of a traditional story the female man is more of a exploration as i said so it's up to you really i mean i'd recommend both frankly because they're both good in their own ways and they've both got their own flaws but they've both got their own strengths many strengths so with that said that's pretty much it for this video if you've read either of these then please let me know in a comment below and we can have a conversation of course and that's it so thank you for watching and i'll see you another day bye for now